gosh, it's so nice to have a big old ugly dog that does absolutely nothing. Hey, it's Robert Earl out here at the Eco Ranch in far west Texas with Cascade the Wonder Dog, and we still wonder what it is he does. But he's here, and so am I, and welcome to part three of the Combo Rocket Stove build. Remember, part three, because there was what? what? There was a 2.5, so it's part three. Anyway, it's done. It's finished. It's built. Um, we did test it a bit because we had to test it. I think I've I've done some shooting in advance of this, so I, I don't know exactly what I said. I'll edit it together as best I can. But we did have to test it so we didn't have any water leaks in it's um, it's coming along, but I wanted to show you a couple of steps in here. Uh, one of the reasons is I have my work exchange guest here, and he didn't quite he couldn't quite think of what we were doing here. So I wanted to show you, even though I did want it to be a surprise as we finish um, in closing the uh, the rocket stove. I'll save the chimney and the rocket stove for you um, uh, for the surprise. Now, one thing I have to say too is because we're taking all the plumbing that exists and the electrical and we're enclosing it, we had to test it. So I, I, you know, I like to test everything so you can see my failures or success. But we had to test it. We've tested it for uh, uh, three days, I think, and it's working perfectly. And we'll do another test in this video. But I want to show you what we did, uh, what we're doing around the rocket stove. So you know, you saw the rocket stove earlier. Building this brick wall, it is a rustic brick wall. It does have imperfections. Stonemasons or trolls that want me to believe that you are a stonemason, don't comment. I know it looks rustic or maybe even crappy. That's what I wanted. I can do better. This is the look I wanted. So, we build this box around it for thermal mass. Not for thermal mass for heat, but to actually contain the heat in the uh, pipes as they come out. And we're insulating the pipes. We're creating the box for thermal mass. And also now to fix any leaks in my lousy uh, welding, um, any air leaks with my lousy welding, and just to finish the thermal mass, we're filling it with mud. Mud and gravel. Now when I say mud, that's exactly what I mean. My soil here is anywhere from 30 to 40 percent adobe clay. You wet adobe clay, you make adobe bricks, especially if you, if you, if you get barefooted, smoke some ganja, put on some beads, and then go, oh, money patra, you can stomp around and you can, make, um, you can make adobe bricks. Or you can do it the right way. But uh, this adobe, you get it wet, you dry it, you have a pizza oven, you have a bread oven, you have anything else. Or in this case, we have a solid mass around the rocket stove. So let me give you a close-up. So you can see I've thrown some chips in here, I've thrown some gravel on top. It's just mud in there. The mud comes up around here. Mud goes around, uh, you can't even see the chimney pipe anymore, but the, um, uh, the mud goes around the exhaust pipe thing is built, it's working, and I wanted to show it to you. I'll, I'll do a little close-up in a minute, but like I, like I said from the very beginning, it's a combination. It's a rocket stove that is a trash incinerator because we have to burn our trash or haul it, you know, 80 miles to Alpine. So it's a rocket stove, an incinerator, a water heater, and a cooktop. Now we've been running it this morning. It'll cook that chicken. We've been running it this morning and uh, cooked our breakfast and ate our breakfast. We're heating the hot water. I'm going to show you that in a moment. Uh, so it's been running pretty steadily. Now up here on the thermometer, the vintage thermometer, we've had a temperature that has been running from a low of about 140 degrees to a high of almost 200. Now the 200 was when I put in a bunch of plastic that burned real hot. The cooktop, well, the cooktop, see for yourself. We are able to cook anything we want. We can boil water on it. We can make noodles. We can make tortillas. And the beauty for me is I don't like to make breakfast because I don't like to do the um, I don't like to do the prep. Well, now this thing is going to be hot because every morning we feed it, feed it, and we've got hot water. So we did the brick face in the front. That's your thermal mass. It holds the uh, temperature in. Cooktop. My feed. Down here is the ash drawer, just like I showed you. And we finished the chimney, and I am going to get behind the camera. You're in the... Well, perhaps the most fun I've had with this whole project, 
Uh, and the whole thing it was fun because making something new and then having it work was really, really cool for me. The most fun I had was doing the chimney. I showed you how it was a slip form and I just pulled it up. Um, I notice when I show the video or when I take pictures of it, it looks like it's not level. But if you put a level on it, it's completely level all the way around. Goes up about 12 feet. It's really cool. And then like what I've done with my other chimneys, special treat, I should say, for the very top of it. And let me show you that. So if we just look up, up, up the chimney, you see right up on the top, there is somebody sitting there. And that is El Nombre. El Nombre is one of the um, uh, a line of politically incorrect gnomes. And El Nombre is... Hey, güeros. Whoa. Yo soy El Nombre. Y tengo aquí desde arriba la posición. Soy el que vigila a todo el que entra por aquí al rancho. Deben pagarme todos, cada uno de ustedes, una botella de whisky o tequila. O si no, se las verán conmigo. <laughs> well, I don't know where that came from, but that scared the hell out of me. Now, I've seen a couple hundred videos about rocket stoves as I was trying to learn how to do a rocket stove. Uh, and they run the gamut from being just something slapped together to something that's got a little bit of work in it to something that's a work of art. Uh, and, and the work of arts are the ones that are in these like hobbit houses made out of cob and that that are just gorgeous. So this falls somewhere in between. The point is that um, a rocket stove in itself and those other burners that are similar are not only going to help people like you and I that want to live sustainably and want to reuse, recycle, repurpose the three R's of sustainable living, it's not only going to help us to do that because this thing is not burning anything that's, re that's, that's releasing previously sequestered um, uh, carbon, with the exception of the bit, small bit of plastic that we do burn here, but that plastic is not ending up in the ocean. Or, as we learned a couple weeks ago, in those highly expensive bottles of, of bottled water that everybody seems to be brainwashed into thinking they need to buy now. <clears throat> so, it's a wonderful thing to get this to keep that zero carbon footprint recycle reuse repurpose this one might be a little bit fancier than some people would um, would make or it might not be fancy enough but for us it's going to be outside in the patio it's working great we're looking forward to it giving us many many years of hot water and hot breakfasts so with that I believe that's the end of this one and I've got a um, I've already got part of a vlog in the can, so that'll be coming up, and there's new projects going on right now, and I've got work exchange guests coming. You don't have to be a member of Wolf or HelpX or World Packers or WorkAway or any of that to come here. If you want to come here, send me an email, and we'll talk about it, and if there's room, we pretty much take anybody that wants to come out here. We need the help. There's a lot of fun, and the uh, food is quite good, too. So with that, stay tuned for the vlog, and it is Robert Earl out here at the Eco Ranch in Far West, Texas, saying, we'll see you later. Oh, ha, ha, ha.